If you watch YouTube videos, orchid bloggers, or you read gardening tip websites, they claim that using hydrogen peroxide helps you do amazing things for your plants, your orchids, and your garden. It helps you aerate the soil, cure root rot, cure fungal diseases, disinfect media, boost growth, kill all these pests, and even fertilize. I hate to disappoint you, but most of these statements are just gardening myths. How can water and oxygen be fertilizers? Do orchid roots actually need that amount of oxygen? Do they really need CO2 to perform photosynthesis? I use hydrogen peroxide only to sanitize some of my tools, but that is it. It could be half of the problem with hydrogen peroxide if it doesn't work as promised, but it can also be very dangerous and just a harmful chemical. In this video, I'm going to talk about the promoted use of hydrogen peroxide for orchid problems, as it may also apply to other garden plants as well. So listen up. So what is this chemical? Hydrogen peroxide is a powerful oxidizer. It is stronger than chlorine or bleach or potassium permanganate. Hydrogen peroxide is naturally formed in humans, animals, and plant cells as a short-lived product in biochemical processes and is toxic to cells. This toxicity is due to the oxidation of proteins, membrane lipids, and DNA by the peroxide ions. Hydrogen peroxide can produce a very active free radical as hydroxyl radicals that can damage the cell's mitochondria and are known to have a carcinogenic effect in animal studies. Hydrogen peroxide can cause oxidative stress and can lead to cell apoptosis and necrosis. Our immune cell phagocytes use hydrogen peroxide to kill the pathogen. Living cells need hydrogen peroxide in the metabolism and fortunately, Cells have enzymes developing in nearly all living cells as important antioxidizing agents, and these enzymes turn H2O2, hydrogen peroxide, into water and oxygen. So yes, in plant cells, at concentrations in a low nanomolar range, hydrogen peroxide acts as a signaling molecule, playing the role of phytohormones. So there has been a lot of research done, but it is still uncertain what concentration is safe to use on plants. I came across a few studies that found that the average safe concentration of hydrogen peroxide that can be used on plants ranges from 0.5 millimolar to 5 millimolar. I will put the links to the research article below. There are many summaries that also suggest that a concentration over that number is harmful to plant cells and can cause cell damage, oxidative burst, and necrosis. So let's see what we have here and let's take a look at what the bloggers suggest you use. I have seen instructions to use a few tablespoons of peroxide to the whole 3% solution on orchid roots and orchid leaves. It's insane. This bottle of 3% peroxide contains approximately one molar. This also depends on temperature and other factors, but for now, to make it clear to you how wrong these YouTube videos and website recommendations are, imagine to receive a safe hydrogen peroxide solution, we need to get a concentration of one millimolar. This means that we need to dissolve that bottle by mixing it with a thousand of the same bottles, or we take just one milliliter and mix it with one liter of water to get a one millimolar solution or with two liters of water to get the safe 0.5 millimolar solution. You can now see that the vast majority of recommendations you watch on YouTube exceed the safe dose by up to tens, hundreds, and thousands of times. So what is going to happen if you follow these recommendations that are very, very, very far from scientific? First is that your orchid will slow down growing. It might stop blooming. After some time, you might notice the patches of necrotic tissue on leaves and roots, depending on the damage. It is quite possible to irreversibly destroy your orchid. 
using hydrogen peroxide in a higher concentration than the safe limit will probably kill any pests or moldy fungus altogether with all the unwanted microbes, but it can also kill your beloved orchid. There is nothing safe about hydrogen peroxide, so don't buy that safe, cheap, non-toxic labor. Orchid root velamen play a role in the substrate. So how do you think aerial roots absorb water and nutrients? Dead cells of the rhizoderm that are called velamen are home to many symbiotic organisms such as bacteria, algae, and mycorrhizal fungi. These organisms play an important role in orchid root velamen and help absorb nutrients and are responsible for nitrogen fixation. Hydrogen peroxide is a fungicide and a strong antiseptic and can kill those beneficial microorganisms just on touch. And guess what might happen next? 